Hi, I'm Evan. I'm out here in Japan right now. Uh, I actually come out to Japan quite a bit. I like to visit a lot of the golf tournaments out here and walk the ranges to see all the different players and see what they're doing, see what kind of uh, training goods they have. And recently, I've been going to the ladies and to the men's tournaments. And I've noticed that, especially with some of the top players, actually, they're both in the top five of the money ranking. They both had the same training goods. And it was very unusual looking training good. And I was wondering what they were using it for. And it wasn't, they weren't actually hitting with it. They were just actually swinging with it on the range and trying to get, I guess they were just building their swing. And I'm, I love all kinds of training equipment because I always want to improve my own game. So I kind of found out what it was and it turned out to be this fureru with this weird shape on it. It has this big curvature with a ball on here and a regular grip so it can be used to swing indoors or outdoors. And the fure loop. And for in Japanese, that translates into the swing loop. But for this, for when I introduce it, I'll just call it the loop. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you a little about, about the loop here. So it's pretty simple. It's just a, basically a club with no head. Instead, it has a, a rubber ball at the end. It has this big radius. The shaft is bent up, kind of like an elephant's nose here, and it has a regular golf grip on it. So this is how you go about using it. So when you set up, setting up at it, it looks pretty much straight, like a regular golf club. So when you go to the side, you can see this radius here, the curved up head here. So what you want to do, just grip it like a normal club, hover it above the ground just a little bit, just kind of take the tension out of your hands and just kind of swing it halfway back, halfway through. Just take no tension in your hands and just kind of feel the club working by itself. Don't try to help it. Just let it kind of flow. Take no tension in your hands. Just kind of feel the weight of the club. And what this radius also does, it kind of helps you your hands rotate to kind of feel that rotational and have that release that you usually see a lot of the pros have. A lot of people, when they come through the ball, they kind of tend to flip at it. But with this bent shaft here, it really helps your arms kind of rotate through to kind of get that speed going. So when you swing it, you can kind of hear the speed is coming up through the follow through. A lot of amateurs, when they come up, they kind of throw it from the top and you kind of hear the speed coming out from the right. So all you have to do is just swing it 90 degrees for the right, 90 degrees to the left. Just kind of feel that club work by itself. And what it does is it starts to get you on the plane. So if you look at it from behind, just kind of take it up tension in the hands, just kind of swing it, and what you should feel, you should feel the club being pretty light, like you stand it up here and just follow through. And once you start, <coughs> a lot of amateurs, when they come up, they take it back, they tend to take it back a little too far inside. And because of the, the weight of the head here, it kind of makes it hard to bring it back up. When you come down, if you come inside out too much, it's hard to bring back the club head back to the ball. So it kind of throws you out and to the right. Kind of like that. So if you just take the tension out, just let the club work by itself, you're going to start to feel the club a little bit lighter. You're going to be able to get a lot more speed in. And what you want to do is you just do the L to L drill here. And then you go and you hit a couple balls. You kind of see it and try to hit it with the same feel. Don't put any tension into it because then you're going to start throwing outside or inside. All you do, tension free, just swing it. And it should bring you down and around and through. Just nice, easy swings.
I have the loop and a regular 7 iron here. Now, with the 7 iron, you have a straight shaft, and with a loop, you have this bent shaft in here. So let me show you this. When I take the straight shafted 7 iron, and I take it in my hands and I kind of spin it, you can see how fast and how easy it is for me to spin it around. And when I take the loop with its bent shaft and do the same thing, it takes a lot more effort to kind of spin it around. And I can't even get it around 360 degrees most of the time. So what the bent shaft does, compared to a straight shaft, when you have the straight shaft, when you look at it down the line, you can see that with the straight shaft, when you're swinging, it's a lot easier especially if you're stronger, to kind of manipulate the head and kind of move it around with a little less effort. But when you have the swing loop with its bent shaft, it takes a lot more effort and you can really, like if, especially if you come from the outside, this ball really takes a lot of effort to control and it kind of twists a little more in your hands. Even when you're coming from the inside a little bit, you can feel that the head really dropping down. When you try to bring it back into the ball, it kind of really takes it away and twists again in your hands. So it takes a lot more effort. So when you're swinging the loop, what you want to try to do is try to not feel that twisting or the head coming out outside or dropping down to the inside too much. You just want to kind of have it stand it up a little bit more so that you kind of feel it light, you can just kind of swing it real nice and easy. And when you don't feel that twisting in the shaft, that kind of tells you that you're swinging a lot on plane. And as soon as you feel that twisting motion in the grip, you kind of feel your hands coming out this way. That's when you know you're a little off plane. So if you just take some time, Keep the tension out of your hands, kind of stand the shaft up. You should be swinging light on plane. Good, so I've been talking a lot about the backswing and what you feel on the backswing. Now let's talk a little bit about the follow through. So it's pretty much the same thing. On the backswing, you can lift just, when you take it back, you just let the loop kind of take your arms back and then rotate into a position. So doing the follow through, it's pretty much the same. Just keep the tension out of your hands, take it back, and let the club swing through. Let the club take your arms and rotate it out. You know, when sometimes you see a lot of people, what they call that chicken wing there. And when you kind of do that, step that elbow out, you kind of, the club doesn't rotate at all. It actually kind of pulls you through a little bit too much. Sometimes you also see the, the elbow going a little bit too far back. And again, the club, it won't let you rotate through. So if you just let it take that tension out, you just kind of let the club drop down and follow through, it should automatically rotate your left forearm and fold your left elbow up into a good finished position. So don't try to force it anything. Don't try to get into that. Just kind of drop it down, swing it nice and smooth, and the loop should get you into a nice, high, finished position. So the, the loop has become very popular training aid here in Japan. A lot of players are using it. All types of players are using it. It helps out many different types. If you're a beginner, top amateur or a top pro, it, it really helps you feel a lot of things in your swing, especially with the swing plane. Especially if it comes down to a beginner, they, they don't know what the proper release feels like or it's hard for them to feel what the back swing feels like. So when you have the loop and you give it to them, it's a different sensation from what, you know, a golf swing is a little different from a normal movement. So when you give them the loop, they're able to feel that back swing, feel that head, back swing, and the follow through. A lot of times you just see kind of amateurs kind of flipping at it when they're still starting to begin to play golf. So when you give them this, 
it's a good training aid to kind of just get them feeling what a good swing motion is. A lot of amateurs go and they kind of just go to hit at the ball. So if you get them this loop, it kind of helps them feel that release when they're just starting out. And a lot of top amateurs, it's even good for them. Uh, you know, they're pretty good, they've got a good swing going, but they can still feel when their swing is on plane or you know, even top amateurs, they come over the top, sometimes they come underneath. It kind of helps them feel that just by training, or just swinging it a couple times a day, it kind of helps them feel that difference maybe with their swing is or to keep it on plane. Even top pros, like I said, I saw a lot of top pros here in Japan. They're, they're using this to kind of get their feeling for their swing or to warm up. Just to kind of get the feeling of where their positions in their backswing or in their follow through. Get that release going. So it's a good club. It's made here in Japan. It's really popular right now. Um, it, it's really good for a lot of type of players. Just a good practice tool to have.